Hi, my name is Claire and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm an Irish YouTuber living in Ireland and if you do know me, I'm on a boat. So a while ago, I posted on my Twitter and my Instagram asking you to roast me. And you know, I took a quick look at them at the time and one of them in particular that was like, get your lighting right, really hurt my feelings. <laughs> so I thought, what better place to read through the rest of them than on a fucking boat? Because nothing can hurt me here, I'm on a boat. Someone said, are you ever going to get your nose straightened? Which I did. That's not a roast. That's just mean. Oh God. That looks scary. Someone said you couldn't out drink Kira even if there was two of you. Which is fair and is a fair roast as well. Somebody said you couldn't do a proper Sunday roast even if you had recipes and YouTube videos about how to make said roast. And that's also not a roast because that is true. Also, so many people have been requesting that I make a cooking video for like and cook a roast for Alex for a video and I'm not a hundred percent sure like why people think I would want to do that <laughs> like someone said like any one hit wonder i.e shy Irish girls say hardly it's really sad watching you keep trying to hit that eye again oof you look like Emma Stone on PS1 graphics it's like a compliment, but like also really, really not a compliment. That's the best one so far. Your OnlyFans has to pay the subscribers. <laughs> uh, not only is Edward more sparkly, he has more views as well. Call me a vampire. That's fair. The 70s called, they want their blue eyeshadow back. Trish, I won't stand for that. I won't stand for blue eyeshadow slander. I told my wife that Clizair was pretty funny in the last try video. She asked me which one is Clizair, to which I replied, the shovel-faced one with stringy hair. She knew exactly who I was talking about. So I presume shovel-faced is because I have a crooked nose, maybe? So it's that you got hit in the face with a shovel? Is that what you're kind of saying? That I look like I got hit in the face with a shovel because I'm so ugly? Or because my nose is crooked, one or the other, which I have tried to fix! Shovel-faced doesn't even hurt my feelings as much as stringy hair does, because I don't have stringy hair. I have curly hair. So sometimes your hair separates into curls because that's how curls work. Anyway, said I wouldn't get annoyed at this. Someone said two words, parchment paper. Really? I don't understand that one. Won't fit in the oven, which doesn't make any sense as a small joke. So it must be a fat joke, which, okay. You're in your 30s. <laughs> You're in your 30s, but you eat and drink like a 14 year old. You drink Blue Wicked. Blue raspberry flavour is your favourite and you don't even cook. Do you even eat any vegetables? No wonder you break a bone every few months. It's time to grow up. Wow. <laughs> your eyes are proof that gingers don't have souls. Okay, so that's more what I, <laughs> the lines of what I expected. Since you went past your mid-twenties, your content has become more millennial tries life for the first time. And there is no going back. Vlogging life with your husband isn't a personality trait. There's a healthy mix here of what I thought a roast was, which is like, Funny insults, but like a grain of truth, but delivered comedically. And people just saying kind of mean things. Like that one was kind of mean. You're Irish and it doesn't make you funny. See, that's a roast. Cause that, yeah, I over rely on the, on the Irish thing. Absolutely. The smallest people always have the biggest mouths. That's another good one. How is your husband more popular than you on your own YouTube channel that you started before you even had a husband? Now that's a fucking roast. Now consider me roasted, boom. Absolutely roasted. Someone said you left Mayo to move to the ghetto, moronic. Uh, that's rude because Dublin's not the ghetto. You look like a cross between Jeffree Star and Nick Avocado. I presume you mean Nick Avocado, Avocado, and that is so fucking rude. <laughs> I am so offended by that. You look like a member of the Happy Tapioca Crew. I don't understand what that is. You look like you style your clothes in the 1980s. Thank you. You look like the bimbo version of Velma, but she's ready to settle. Whoa, roasted. What's 410, charming and funny? Not you, you fucking whelp. Again, not really a roast, but also, you're right, I'm not 410. I'm five foot nothing. People seem to think I'm like 48, 410 consistently. I posted a picture on my Instagram a while back which used one of the comments which was like, why do you dress like you're 83 when you're <laughs> 33 and 4, 8. And then all my comments were like, oh my god, you're 4, 8? And I was like, no, no, this person assumed I'm 4, I'm 5, nothing. So now we're going to move on to Instagram, which surely <laughs> can't be as bad as Twitter. You drink Barry's tea in a Starbucks cup. Now that's a roast. That's pointing out how gentrified the Irish people have become. That's a, that's a fucking roast. Hey, Justine, I'm really happy Insta recommended you after I followed Kira and Dermot. 
Okay. You're so bad at geography you couldn't find Ireland on a labelled map of Ireland. That's true. Only thing worse than ginger is a wannabe ginger. Shawnee, I'm a real ginger and I won't have you say otherwise. Alex is better at shorts than you are. That one hurts me because it's true. Uh, yeah, I can't find a nice pair of shorts. I don't look nice in shorts. I don't know what is wrong with me. I just can't find a pair of shorts that I don't look like a gobshite in. I'll leave the roasting of you to any temperature above four degrees Celsius, you pale Casper mother. <laughs> now that's a roast. And that was from Stephen Sings as well, who was on my podcast previously. Lots of people saying things that I like and do aren't personality traits. Which I would argue they are, because the things that you like as a whole make up your personality. No, anyway, whatever, who cares? State of you. <laughs> Why waste my time when the sun will handle that as soon as you step outside? These men have got points. And then someone else said you're a ginger, which is like... Thank you. I told you I was ginger, Shawnee. When I posted this as well, lots of my tag rugby friends sent me lots of personal tag rugby roasts. Like your 50-10 record, which is a type of kick in tag rugby, is very poor compared to teammates. And I find that offensive. And someone said, and this is a great one to finish on. You make a big deal about lions and berries, but you didn't even drink tea until your mid-20s. Which is an absolutely stellar reference. That is the Roast Me video. I probably put it up on Facebook as well, but like who hey, who uses Facebook? If you replied on Facebook, boom, you just got roasted. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel. Please consider supporting the channel on Patreon. It's how I pay the bills and how I can continue to make content. Check out the Airbnb episode where I review a stay in this boat. And I shall see you in the next video. Slan slan.